The technology makes a lot of everyday errands easier, like banking, which can now be done on your phone. Yeah, it's less time wasted. You don't have to go to the bank for simple transactions like depositing a check. But as WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal shows us in tonight's Where's the Money report, there's something you should know before writing your next check. Well, more and more people are depositing checks written out to them using remote deposit capture on their phone. It's basically uploading a picture of the check to your bank's mobile app. You're supposed to destroy the hard copy of the check after it's processed, but some payees are still holding on to that check, then depositing it again months later. That's what happened to the wife of a WCNC employee recently. Fortunately, she was keen enough to catch it, so she's not stuck asking, where's the money? Well, my husband and I were um, looking at our bank account and we noticed that it looked abnormal. Um, there was a, a good thousand dollars that was missing out of our account and we realized it was a check that was cashed. We thought that our uh, boat mechanic had actually just forgotten to cash the check. He found it and then six months later we deposited it. But I told my husband, I said, I think I remember that check clearing. So I went back through our previous statements and sure enough, it had cleared. So because the $1,000 check had been deposited twice, Lauren Hibbard's account was out $2,000. The Hibbards immediately called their bank. And they were actually able to see that in fact, the check had cashed twice. In the bank world, this is known as double presentment. After conducting their own investigation, Bank of America put the money back in Hibbard's account for the second check deposit. They did say that things like this have happened before, and that's, that's probably the, the biggest shock is, is it wasn't a shock to them. We reached out to Bank of America. It's been over two weeks and have not heard any response. Bob Sullivan, consumer expert and contributor for CNBC, says banks have millions of accounts to look at, but use algorithms to find obvious acts of fraud. Where they set those thresholds is really what the problem is, because if they set them too low, then they're going to be calling you all the time and bothering you with too many complaints. So with something like two identical thousand dollar checks, in this case, the bank's threshold was set high enough that they let that go through instead of flagging that as an obvious scam. Don't just assume that just because it's a big bank that things like this can't happen because we were kind of shocked it did happen. Hibbard says she'll think twice before writing a check again. And keep in mind, this could happen to you even if you don't use mobile banking. So it's a good idea to go over your bank statements regularly and see that nothing is out of the ordinary. Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. So Jane mentioned making sure that you're following those bank statements closely. If you do find a check you wrote has been deposited twice, you can call your bank immediately. You want to dispute the transaction, which could take several days, but your bank should eventually credit your account. And as you heard in that story, perhaps think twice about writing the checks at all. You can use a credit card because that provides more protection if there is an issue.